Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here today to begin the review for My Hero Academia episode 21 of season 5. And now when it comes to just like how many how much manga material was adapted within this episode, I reckon it was like two to it feels like two to three chapters for me. And it's because of that I feel like it's too much. I personally feel like for this episode, the, em the emphasis should have been left on the Toga fight. And now during this Toga fight, we're basically learning a little bit more because I don't think it was a whole lot. They could even have expanded on it if, if need be on Toga's backstory. Let's learn about her past. And during the fight, Toga finds a way to improve her quirk. Not only can she turn into people, who blood she's ingested, if this said person has a quirk, she can now use said quirk as well. And now it makes me wonder when it comes to Deku. If she does now transform into Deku, will she have the um the all for the, the one for all, sorry. Um we know that uh what was his name? The copycat guy from class from class B. He couldn't do that, but that's got something to do with restraint from his quirk. I only honestly wonder does uh, Toga have this same um, this same drawback and so Toga quite easily was able to win her fight within this episode but also, um, soon after that she passes out and this takes up roughly 50% of the episode at max I'm going to say between 40 and 50% of the episode and now or actually maybe more because there's not really much more going on as well because after we see Toga has powered up, powered up her quirk to improve her quirk, whatever you want to see it, we flip over to Shiggy and now Shiggy, he hasn't quite had his flashbacks yet, it was starting, you know, we're getting sprinkles, we're getting the crumbs, so we got some crumbs last episode and we're getting some more crumbs in this episode but regardless of him Regardless of us learning like the, the backstory to him, like similar, because basically with Toga we learn our backstory. She powered up, so it's not gonna. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be the case for everyone because we're still learning Shiggy's backstory, but he seems to have already powered up. And now uh, the lizard guy says it best. It seems like he has decayed someone he ain't touching. So now if Shiggy can start decaying what he ain't physically touching, boy. That's a problem, he's getting too strong, that's a problem. And we also, within this episode, have set up for a dabby fight, versing some guy who can um use ice. And now, fire melts ice, this should be no really big issue here. But, you know, we're going to play it out a little bit, it seems. So, we're going to play it out a little bit. Dabby does mention that, oh, yeah, I feel like I've gotten stronger too. But, you know, don't really see nothing to solidify solidify said, said statements. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, but that's essentially what the episode is about. Them arriving, at, I think it's called... Deca City, don't quote me on that. The numbers are looking very high. I don't, I don't, we have not seen 1,100, I think that's the number, but we have not seen the max number of people that said they're going to turn up, but the numbers are very high. And it seems like at least, um, what's his name? The guy with the mask, he seems a bit worried because they came as a crew, they arrived as a crew, but surely, but uh, slowly but surely, they are starting to split up and we, they are worried about them. So, we end off the chapter with Twice, and now Twice seems to be very worried about Togar. I mean, yeah, Togar, he has found um, Togar. And while he has found how I found her, seeing to see, trying to see if she's okay, he is faced off with an opponent. And I leave it at that. So for me personally, it was a good episode. However, I think that it could have been better if we simply focused more on the Toga fight. Just, I'm gonna say, you know, draw that out, whatever. But we could have had a more detailed flashback, learn more bits and pieces from her. Because I'm pretty sure 
within the manga, the whole Toga focus was just one episode. And I feel like that's better because it kind of takes away from Toga this way because we have all that Toga focus and then, you know, it finishes off. I really do think a good ending place for this episode would have been Toga collapsing in that cabinet that she, um, that she fell in. But it is what it is. You get what you get. I'm, I'm just a guy making suggestions at the end of the day. I'm going to give this episode a free star rate and then like always guys I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already please subscribe to my YouTube channel but most importantly take care have a nice day